hello and welcome back to our youtube channel code logic so in this series we are seeing the hospital management system in our previous videos we have created the crowd operations on the patient as well as doctor so in this video we are going to create the authentication system for the admin so yeah without wasting any time let's get started so we'll open here a new terminal and we are going to create a component so we are using a command nggc component slash auth slash login so we are going to create a login component here okay after that uh, we are going to create one service nggc shared service auth so this is how we are going to create the auth service okay we'll close the terminal we'll go to our application you can see inside our component we have new component there auth and inside shared folder we have new service auth service so first we will go to the routing module.ts file here we will define some paths so first path will be login we will add component login component and if the path is empty then uh, we'll redirect it to the login component okay so we'll close this file now uh, we'll go to the auth.service.ts file here first we'll inject private auth of type angular fire auth now uh, we are going to write uh, methods first one will be login so it will take two parameters username and password which is of type string and now uh, we'll check auth dot sign in with username and password so there is a method uh, inbuilt sign in with email and password and we'll pass the username and password there then we'll check for the result it should be username not email okay so we'll check for the result if auth dot auth state dot subscribe and here uh, we'll get the user so if user is present okay so first I will inject one more variable here router of type router so uh, if user is present then uh, we need to redirect it to the dashboard URL so for that we'll use router dot navigate method and we'll pass the URL that is dashboard then uh, we'll print the user in our console and if the result we have not get then uh, we'll get the error then in that case we'll print the error in our console so console.log error we'll go to the login component.ts file here uh, inside constructor will inject auth api of type auth service okay now uh, after this login method 
if user is present then uh, we need to store it in our local storage so local storage dot set item user and we'll pass this user value as if this user is uh, in uh, JSON format we need to stringify it so we'll use method JSON dot stringify and we'll pass the user okay then I uh, will create one mo one more method logout so in that case when user try to log out so we'll uh, remove the element from the local storage so local storage dot set item user equals to null so we'll set user as null and then uh, we'll redirect it so for uh, redirecting we use router dot navigate to login you have passed empty path there because it's ultimately going to the login screen and if user is logged in or not to check that we need to write one more method is user logged in so uh, for that uh, we'll create one variable here user and uh, we'll get the data from the local storage and we'll parse it so json dot parse local storage dot get item user okay and we'll return user is not equal to null then uh, we should return true otherwise we we'll should return false so yeah we have written three methods here login logout and is user logged in now uh, we'll go to the app component.ts file here uh, we'll create constructor first inside which we'll inject one variable auth api of type auth service okay and then uh, we'll create one more method ng on init and inside that method we are going to call the method is user logged in or not so first we'll declare one variable here user logged in initially its value will be false and now here uh, user logged in equals to we'll get the value from auth api dot is user logged in method okay and if user is logged in then uh, we don't need to show this side uh, if user is logged in then we have to show this sidebar otherwise uh, we don't have to show this sidebar okay so that's why uh, we have created this method and we have added it here okay so now uh, we'll go to our login component.ts file here uh, we have created one form similar to the we have created in our doctor component so first we'll go to the dashboard doctor component and then add doctor component.ts file here uh, we have this form so we'll copy this and we'll paste it here I will remove uh, the variables which are not required so but first uh, we'll inject this private FB of type form builder okay we'll remove all the variables which are not necessary so ID name mobile only two variables will be needed email and password okay we'll change its name qualification to password we need to define two variables so for that uh, we'll define one variable here password
after that we'll create new method here login okay we'll use this data api dot login method and we'll pass two parameters email and password from the form value so form value dot email comma form value dot password So we'll go to the login component.html file. Here uh, we'll define one row and inside which there will be three columns. So I'm using here a bootstrap classes. So inside second column, we need to paste our code. So here uh, we are going to create one form. So you can see here uh, we have created a mat card inside which there is a form and that form there are uh, two fields mat form field for the email with the errors and for the password okay and for password its type should be password so that uh, text is not visible to the user and then uh, we have one button here and on click of that button we are calling this method login okay so we'll go to the CSS we have added here some CSS so this is how our uh, login page looks like okay with the all uh, validators so now uh, we'll go to the firebase we need to enable that authentication in firebase inside build there is authentication section we need to get start after that uh, there are uh, lots of options available but we need to select the email and password then uh, we have to start that enable that and then we have to publish it after that uh, we need to create one variable user here so go to the users and then uh, add user so I am uh, creating a user here admin at the rate gmail.com with a password admin at the rate one two three okay so uh, we have created a new user here so uh, whenever we try to log in and you click on login you can see here we are getting the user data okay so this is what the uh, user data will get after the login so you can see here uh, we are not getting a sidebar here so for that we'll go to the uh, auth service and inside which we are going to reload the location and uh, this method uh, redirect to the navigate so this should be inside the await and async call okay so similarly for logout so we'll change we'll uh, reload the location and that navigate method is in await call okay so now uh, we'll see the demo you can see here now uh, we are getting the data with the sidebar okay and whenever we try to sign out we are redirecting to the login page so yeah now uh, we need to implement the auth guard functionality for that uh, we'll use command ngg guard shared slash auth slash guard we are creating this functionality because uh, after the logout user uh, will not be allowed to visit the dashboard page okay so we'll go to the 
shared folder inside which there is a guard folder and there is one authguard.ts file so you can see here we have implemented the can activate method so we need to create one constructor here inside that constructor we'll uh, inject one variable private auth api of type auth service okay and uh, we'll return here inside the can activate method auth api dot is user logged in okay if user is logged in or not uh, on that basis we need to check for the results okay so uh, inside this dashboard so we need to verify it before visiting to the dashboard is user logged in or not so for that we are used here can activate method and we have passed auth guard there okay so now uh, we'll visit to the our page so first uh, we'll redirect to the login page okay first we'll log in into system okay you can see the data and after the logout we are uh, going to the login page after uh, logout if we want to visit to the dashboard then uh, we are redirecting to the login page okay yeah that's it for the video guys if you like the video please like share and subscribe thanks for watching see you in the next video till then bye bye